have you chosen Nakamura's for your small turn parts that you manufacture here at Kale Engineering? Basically, it's come from experience. I think we've, we've had an association with Nakamura probably for over 20, 30 years now. And you, even though these parts are really small, you still need the rigidity of the machine tool, you know. Well, it's not um, aluminiums that you manufacture on these machines. It's all exotic hard materials. That's right, yeah. We're working with Inconels, Hastelloys, and even the, an easy part for us is 316 stainless steel. Now, the machines have Y-axis, twin spindle, um, fanet controls. Can you tell me other features that work for you? Yeah, the, the Y-axis is an important feature because more often than enough, we can get parts to our customers quicker if we can machine it all in one operation. And when you, a lot of uh, small machine tools that don't have the rigidity, whereas these do, not only on turning, but also on milling. So the rigidity and the longevity, you know, when you're cutting these tough materials, what is the longevity like of the machine? Rigidity is important because that's where you get your tool life from. And if you're constantly chasing, changing tips and whatever, it slows you down. With the Nakamura, we feel as though we've got a lot of rigidity in that machine tool. And what about the longevity of the machine? Yeah, they tend to last forever, I'll be honest with you. We, we actually sold two, which were 20 year old probably when we bought these. Um, and I've got to say, they still had a lot of life left in them. And they hold tolerance? Perfect, yeah. That's one thing about the Nakamura, you can rely on the tolerances. Now we've got the twin spindle, the AS200L over there. Now that's got driven tooling, it's a bit of a larger machine, and you're doing the milling features on there. And what about the rigidity and, and the forces, you know, when you're doing the hard materials with the driven tooling? Yeah, it's a slight, you have to judge which way you're going to do the product. It's a slightly smaller chuck that we have on the second spindle, but by and large we can put a part on the floor that's completely finished and we, know, we don't tend to have any problems with the rigidity. So, so for the milling features, fantastic as yeah, well? Yeah, fantastic, absolutely perfect. So you would e recommend... E equally as good as a machining centre in, in some cases. You tend, to, you, you tend to mill parts that are quite simple, we do anyway. Nothing as complex, you would then do that on a milling machine, you know. But it copes with exotic hard materials with the driven tooling. Definitely, yeah, definitely. And you would recommend Nakamura's? Oh yes, yeah, every time. I feel it's the Rolls Royce of the turning centres.